infamously known for being the second and final city to be attacked with an atomic bomb, Nagasaki has a deep history. It's estimated that 70,000 people were killed in Nagasaki. Countless people died instantly. Many more were left with side effects from radiation or burns from the explosion. The city burnt for hours, and eventually, a large area was reduced to nothing. When you visit Nagasaki, you can still see some of the effects, but now you'll be surrounded by a new and bustling city. Take this for example, here is a toddy gate, now with just one leg, which is not too far from the hypercenter. Even this was partially destroyed, but one leg still remains as a testament to the perseverance of Nagasaki City. If you're visiting Nagasaki, the first place you might want to stop at is the Atomic Bomb Museum and the Peace Park. You're able to read testimonies from survivors and visit the hypocenter of the bomb. It's the best way to get a feel for the city and its history. A lot of visitors might just stop there, but there's so much more to Nagasaki than that. The city has rebuilt and even better, created its own unique culture. For a long time, Nagasaki was the only Japanese port open to the rest of the world. As a result, the city is uniquely influenced by settlers from many different countries. Trams mixed with European buildings, right next to Chinese markets. We were determined to explore what the Nagasaki of now has to offer. Our first stop was the city's Chinatown. We never expected Nagasaki to have such a unique culture, but apparently this Chinatown is only one of three Chinatowns in all of Japan. And we've also heard that this one is particularly good for street food. So let's go and try some out. We got two different kinds of street food. The first one is kakunimon, which is braised pork in kind of like a bun. It looks really delicious. And then the second one we got is goma dango, which is a dango with sesame on the outside. Both of them look incredible. Let's try the dango first. Mm. <laughs> it kind of tastes like do you remember those sesame snaps we had as kids? Oh, tastes like that, if you know that. Oh, that one's really good. This one is probably what I was most excited for though. Mmm, oh. That pork is so good. There's not too many other places in Japan where you'll find this unique mix of cultures. Another dish that should be high on your list is Nagasaki's speciality, champon. Despite looking like ramen, this noodle soup is actually based on Chinese cuisine and is a must try. Moving on from Chinatown though, our next stop was to see the old European area of Nagasaki city. It's kind of amazing that we were just in Chinatown and then maybe 600 meters away is this quaint little European town. We're walking up Dutch Slope now, which is part of the old Western neighborhood in Nagasaki. It's called Dutch Slope because a lot of Dutch people were the ones who were trading in Nagasaki about 300 years ago. And Japanese people in Nagasaki kind of just associated Western people just with Dutch people. Some parts of Nagasaki weren't badly damaged from the bomb, 
because of the surrounding mountains that contained the blast in one area. So you're still able to see a lot of Nagasaki's older history. Taking advantage of those mountains now is one onsen where you can soak in the bath while looking out over the entire city. Fukunoyu Onsen is honestly one of the best onsens that we've been to in Japan so far. From the outdoor baths, you can sit and look out over the whole of Nagasaki. It's an absolutely beautiful view. And you know what? Like for 800 yen, I think it's totally reasonably priced. We've、mm-hmm. been to other onsens for the same price, but you don't get this like incredible view. So I definitely recommend it. Nagasaki has easily been one of our favorite cities on our van trip around Japan. Its tragic history draws you in, but its other attractions make you want to stay for at least a few days. Nagasaki is a bit out of the way from the usual hotspots in Japan, but in our opinion, this peaceful city is well worth your time. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss our next videos, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>